and we are back, back from the future. And today we're gonna see it or take a look to the Celestia rocket. Well, I named Celestia because you know the Apollo program. Uh, it's basically Apollo was the ancient god of the sun, so I thought that maybe name it Celestia might be good. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, um, so this is basically what I try to replicate the Saturn V. Uh, it costs a lot of time, honestly, and uh, this is not even the final product because uh, because we um, here we can see the uh, the command module. Yes, this is the command module, but uh, inside uh, here. We don't have uh, the lamb, or at least not yet, because the first um, launches uh, were made without uh, lamb, if I'm not mistaken. So, and that's and that's even difficult to recreate. So I have to think really, uh, very very strictly on how I'm gonna do the lamb. So. Um, yeah, um, then let, let's take a look on uh, after how it's made. So, we had uh, in the first stage, we have uh, like one amount, one huge fuel com uh, tank. Uh, so I, was, I was saying combustion chamber, now it's a combustion chamber, completely different thing. Uh, here we have uh, our um, this. Uh, this uh, rocket, uh, or th in this stage, we are using the Rhino fuel en engine. Uh, basically, maybe, uh, yeah, oh, okay. If I throw away, you, you can see it. So, yeah. Um, this is, will be what's, uh, what was the J2 engine. Um, in here, we have other, another. Rhino engine, but honestly, for the second stage, the, uh, it was uh, four or if I'm not mistaken, or five uh, J2 engines. So, and since we cannot place four engines in a stage, uh, well, well, at least you can do it. But uh, just for me, it's like cheating, and, and honestly, I, I do not like it. And then. Um, yeah, uh, another Rhino engine, and on the first stage, which is the massive thing, because this has to put a lot of energy to put all this huge rocket, and I cannot even zoom properly out because it's so fucking huge. In fact, you can see here on. Oh, sorry, no, 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 the camera. Caspedia here on the engineer's report. If I can, okay, I can enlarge it. This thing weighs uh, how much? Ah, uh, three hundred, three hundred and fifty thousand tons. I don't know if it's that correct, but. Yeah, this this thing is fucking heavy, and it's really that heavy that I've tested, and uh, I don't have the, the enough trust to put this into orbit. So I came up with another idea, because this engines, this one which is uh, this one which is called the Mammoth, and the Mammoth, it's not enough, and I thought, well. This is, you can see here, this has, um, let, just, let me show you properly. So, this thing has uh, four engines, as you can see, but it's not the I want. Because, why? Because um, the, the Saturn V had five uh, F1 engines, uh, and they were, they were extremely extremely powerful not only for uh, because um, they're really powerful and uh, well they, they can uh, 
um, they ignite uh, uh, one single engine can ignite uh, three tons of fuel per second so this means multiply for five 15 tons per second that's that's fucking uh, yeah that's so and for all the for all the first stage flight uh, it might might be uh, they spend like uh, 200 uh, no 2250 tons on fuel that's that's quite impressive so i made another another uh, another small uh, not that small honestly um, engine which is uh, the uh, the vector uh, liquid engine which also we can also see it uh, on uh, here I uh, can how can I oh, okay you cannot see it because uh, I will I have to broke all this thing from scratches and I might not do it so yeah and um, I use only this because uh, for purposes thing because uh, looks like because this is basically the engine that I had uh, the command module so and I said yeah let's let's use it um, and yeah so uh, that's it I'm sorry yeah this is, was a very really short video but uh, we still preparing for the our mission the to put two ponies into 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 the lunar surface and can, can I say it like this because I'm, I'm yeah um yeah so I we will have to do some experiments uh, in the next episode we uh, will have to we will replicate all the missions from the Apollo 8 uh, uh, to the uh, until we reach with the Apollo 11. So the next uh, would be the Apollo 8, which which was the first orbit in the moon. And the Apollo 10 is the no the Apollo 9. Uh, the Apollo 9 was uh, made into the uh, into the Earth orbit because I was saying a waste orbit. Um, to the Earth orbit and tested if uh, the lunar uh, excursion module was, you know, somehow detachable with uh, on, from the Saturn V. And this means uh, we have to replicate also that. And the Apollo 10 was only um, what was a previous test before landing on the moon. So basically, they tested how can the lamp go down for uh, up and down and uh, the attach with the command module. So um, yeah, uh, quick, uh, really quick uh, episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I see you back, uh, back from the future. Oh. Yeah, that that's quite impressive. Uh huh. That's freaking fucking huge. I never built something like this. I, uh, something that huge before. Also, um, the camera is not good. Ca camera, ca camera, okay, 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 thank you. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I love it so much.